What's up YouTube? Today I'm going to adjust my uh, throttle activation switch for my electric supercharger. My Phantom, my Phantom electric supercharger, uh, it's pretty got some pretty advanced uh, electronics involved in uh, activation and controlling of the uh, auxiliary batteries, the charging then the discharging through here. Uh, plus I have a pretty sophisticated tune uh, from uh, Vishnu Tuning to, uh, to add more fuel when the supercharger comes on. This supercharger is a two-stage activation. It has two PSI at the first stage, a full five PSI at the second stage. Uh, but all this is activated by a mechanical throttle position switch which is kind of like old school type of stuff there is a newer way of doing it a digital electronic way called proceed uh, from Vishnu tuning but I'm still using the old mechanical activation switch <clears throat> okay this is the throttle pedal and that is the mechanical activation switch uh, very simple as you can see very old school it's a two position mechanical switch first position you get two PSI uh, from your electric supercharger second position gives you the full five PSI it's recommended that you have the first stage come on at at least 75% throttle, if not higher, and perhaps the second stage comes on at 98% uh, or almost full throttle. I have this right now at a much lower point. It's causing some problems. So right now the uh, mechanical position switch is probably activating the first stage of the electric supercharger around, say, 60% throttle opening. Uh, which works uh, some of the times, but some of the times it can actually cause a situation where the motor will almost stall. Uh, for example, when you blip the throttle as you're getting going, you can sometimes go over 65%. This activates the electric supercharger and uh, can almost cause the engine to stall, which could be dangerous. So basically, if you open the throttle too much, too quickly, over 65%, uh, before the engine is ready to take the, uh, the added air from the supercharger, it can cause the engine to stall, which can be a safety factor. So it is recommended that you go with over 75% throttle for the first stage. So today I'm going to set my throttle at 75% uh, just to be safe. Okay, the first thing I'm gonna do to set my throttle position is to connect my open flash tablet. So it's plugged into my OBD-B port and ready to go. Diagnostics, my car, real-time data display. Okay, so we have all our information and including our throttle position. Right now is at zero. So as I press on the throttle, you can see how that value goes up. Now, I don't know if you just heard that, but that was the electric supercharger activating the first stage, the two PSI stage. Now, if I look at where it's activating, okay, so that's part of our problem. Uh, the activation switch has probably moved a little bit. It's actually activating at 40% throttle, which is not recommended at all. So I've got to change that today, for sure. So the fact that it's activating at around 40% means that it's moved on its bracket a little bit, which shows you one of the drawbacks of having a mechanical position switch. But the solution is pretty simple. Except for the fact that you have to get on your back and move it in here. All you've got to do is move the swallow physically move the throttle position uh, bracket and bend it. That will reposition the switch. Okay, this is killing my back, let me tell you. Through a system of trial and error, mostly error, I have bent the throttle position 
activation switch bracket so that now the first stage is activated at exactly 75% throttle as I will demonstrate now focus okay so I finished adjusting through my like I said my system of trial and error the throttle position switch the two PSI of the electric supercharger should come on at 75% let's see if I did a good job now you will see and you will hear the electric supercharger start its first stage. Here we go. Did you hear that? That was the first stage of the electric supercharger. Now of course the car is not running right now so the electric supercharger will run even if the car is not running, it will start blowing. And it started at that point at 75% throttle, which is exactly what I wanted. Oof, that's hot work. Okay, so I finished adjusting my uh, throttle position uh, activation switch for my electric supercharger. Uh, everything should run a lot better now, a lot safer. Uh, let me know what you think of the electric supercharger. Uh, let me know if you think that's a good deal, if it's a good buy. If you would want one yourself, uh, leave a comment below. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time on Photo Mike's Garage.